my name is Tejas and welcome to my channel Self Study with Tejas. Today we are going to do NSO grade 4 chapter 1 plants. So let's start. So first question, dash is an insectivorous plant. So A, sundew is an insectivorous plant. So A, sundew is the correct answer. Then second question, identify the structure X shown in the given picture and select the correct statement regarding it. So this is a mangrove plant and this is the uh, root of the mangrove plant. So here is X. So X is called pneumatophore and is found in plants growing in marshy areas. So that's a true statement. So A is the correct answer. So third question. The plant show, uh, shown here is adapted to grow in dash and has dash. So this is cactus and it is adapted to grow in desert and has neither like leaves. So C is the correct answer. Then fourth question. Plants prepare their food in the form of glucose. This food is used by the plant for making flower and fruits. Yes, that's true. Making leaves. Yes, that's also true. Then C. Repairing damaged parts. So that's also true means D. All of these is the correct answer. Then fifth question. X is a tree that has needle shaped leaves with waxy coating. It has woody cones instead of flowers. These cones bear seeds inside them. X is, so it should be D large. So means D large is the correct answer. Then sixth question. The food prepared by the dash of plants is used for daily activities of plants. The extra food gets stored as dash. So food prepared by the leaves means here is leaves. Then is used for daily activities of plants. The extra food gets stored as starch means C leaves comma starch is the correct answer. So seventh question. Kavya is going to a hilly area for her summer vacation. Which of the following trees will she most probably find here? So she will most probably find here um, spruce as she is going to a hilly area. So A spruce is the correct answer. Then eighth question. Tarun carry out an experiment to show that plants respond to light. The picture on the right shows how the plants look like after a week. Which one of the following setups this he used for his experiment? So, it is going to on that side and here is full wooden box. So, it will uh, not go for any side. Here is a wooden box and a hole so, it, it will be go that side means B is the correct answer. Then, ninth question. Uh, Kunika took a, leaf, a green leaf. She bleached and washed it in cold water. Then, she added a few drops of iodine on it. What will she observe? So, a green leaf in the presence of iodine will turn into blue-black color. Means C is the correct answer. And question, in which of the following these conditions the potted plant would be able to carry out the process of making food? So A, watered well and placed in fully enclosed wooden cupboard. So in enclosed wooden cupboard, the light will, sunlight will not reach. So um, the plant cannot grow, cannot grow. Then in the second option, Placed near an open window and watered well. So in open window, sunlight will come and it is watered well. So it will grow means B is the correct answer. Then 11th question. Manoj cross a crossed out mushroom from the group given below because he felt that it did not belong her. So here mushroom is cut then cactus, mimosa and coconut tree. Which of the following statement support Manoj's conclusion? So A. Mushroom is a plant while the rest are not. So this is uh, incorrect because mushroom is a plant and uh, rest are also the plant only. Then B. Mushroom is a fungus while the rest are not. That is true because mushroom is a fungus and rest are a, a normal plant. B. Mushroom feeds on decaying things. While the rest are, uh, rest do not. Yes, that's also true. Then mushroom cannot make its own food while the rest can. That's true. Means D, B, C 
and D only is the correct answer. Then twelfth question: Select the correct statement from the following. The body of hydrilla is covered by mucilage, and leaves have sto stomata all over the surface. No, that's false because uh, hydrilla do not have stomata. Then B. Lotus has plate-like leaves with stomata present only on the upper surface. That's two means B is the correct answer. Then thirteen question: The plants X and Y are similar to each other. As they both dash, so this is sandio, and this is pitcher plant. So, grow in soil that lack both air and water. No, that is false. Then have tentacles on leaves to trap insects. Sandio have, but pitcher one do not have. So that uh, this is also false. Cannot photosynthesize. Uh, that's also false because they both can photosynthesize. Then need to overcome deficiency of nitrogen. That's true because um, uh, um, that's why they trap insects because uh, to fulfill their nitrogen need. So D is the correct answer. So fourteen question. Refer to the given picture. Select the option that gives correct matching of the label part with its example and uses. So P radish as vegetable. So P is a root and we eat root of radish as a vegetable. Then Q. Sweet potato as vegetable, so Q is a stem, and we eat root of sweet potato as vegetable, so that is false. Then R cabbage as vegetable, so R is a leaf, and we eat um leaves of cab cabbage as vegetable. Then S cotton as fiber producer, so S is a fruit, and um from the fruit of uh, cotton uh, we We uh, produce fiber. Means B is the correct answer. Then the given uh, given graph is plotted according to the recordings of an experiment to find out effect of temperature on the rate of photosynthesis in an aquatic plant. Based on the given graph, select the correct option. So A photosynthesis occurs best at thirty five degrees Celsius. So in thirty five degrees Celsius. The uh, photosynthesis is best occurring means is the correct answer. Question number sixteen. Question number sixteen. The following table shows some information on four plants A, B, C, D. A uh, tick indicates that the plants show the particular characteristic, and a cross indicates that the plant does not show the particular characteristic. So, based on the information above. Which letter W X Y or Z best represent plant C and D? So plant C here first is W. So W is the flowering plant and it is aquatic. So is it flowering plant means it bears fruit and is it aquatic means here is also tick means W is C. Then here is X plant D. So it is flowering plant means it bears fruit. And it is non-aquatic, and here is cross, means A is the correct answer. Children wanted to find out how overcrowding can affect plant growth. They took four pairs of setups containing plants as shown in options A, B, C, and D, and kept them at the same location. Each pot is given the same amount of water each day. Which pair of setup will give the correct result of their experiment? For the correct result of experiment, they need to use the um, uh, um, both the uh, good soils. And here is good soil, and here is poor soil. Means it is incorrect. Then here is a poor soil, and here is a good soil. Means that is incorrect. And the option C, both are good soils. And option D, the both are a uh, good soils. But in the option D, there is a less amount of good soil in the in this pot. And here are Um, equal amount of soil means C is the correct answer. I took a croton plant with variegated leaves and kept in it in darkness for a few hours. She then placed this plant in sunlight and set up an experiment as shown here. After six hours, she performed iodine test on plucked leaves P, Q, and R. Which of the following is the possible outcome? 
so here is leaf q and here is uh, only on the vents iodine so this is correct and in the leaf p also there is iodine only on the vents and this is correct because uh, but in the uh, d option here is co2 means carbon dioxide absorbed by the leaf so it will not show any change in color means a is the correct option study the given flow chart showing three types of water plant some of their features are given below select the correct match of the water plants with their respective features so z is an uh, z is an underwater plant they have narrow thin leaves with no stomata so z is i then uh, their bodies are like a sponge and have empty spaces filled with air so it is in the floating plants like this means it has i i then uh, they have plate like leaves which have stomata on the upper side so this is in a fixed plant means here will be i i and i so now let's check so x is 1 so that's false then here y is 2 that's also false then x is 3 that's false then here x is 2 y is 3 and z is i means d is the correct answer twentieth question the given diagram shows how a green leaf would look under red light blue light and green light so now let's come to the options so red light so here red light is absorbed by the leaves so it is in black so absorbed by the leaf here is cross mean it is wrong and blue light it is absorbed by the leaf yes that's true so here is true then reflected by the leaf it is not reflected by the leaf uh, and here is true means it is wrong then here c red and blue light absor are absorbed by the leaf that uh, here is true then reflected by the leaf here is cross and then used by the leaf for the photosynthesis yes that is true because the both uh, lights are very uh, very efficient so c is the correct answer तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको हमारा ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब जरूर करना थैंक यू